Ectalon U.S. National Doubles Championship from the Merritt Athletic Club in Baltimore, Maryland, the finals of the Women's Open. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Brian Drebber with Chris Yvonne, who's already won two silver medals at this tournament. Chris, though, we're getting ready for a gold medal match. We sure are, Brian, and we have an unusual situation today. Today, playing for the gold are four world doubles champions. The first team, Jackie Paraiso and Laura Fenton, they won the world championship in 1994 together. Last year, they finished second in this event, so they're looking for a little revenge. The other team, Kirsten Hollander and Kim Russell, they're the current world champion. They paired up together for this year for the first time in the world and were able to win it, so they feel pretty comfortable together. But they're looking to win the gold here, and I think they're ready for it. Kim paired up with a different partner last year and was able to win it, so she's ready to repeat. With the introduction of the players, we're set to play, and Kim Russell will serve first. Her partner, Kirsten Hallander, standing at the wall, while Jackie Paraiso and Laura Fenton await the serve. And Chris, the moment of tension, uh, trying to set a tone here. This is where we're at now. Ball's in play. It is, Brian. This is a tense moment. The first couple points are always hard for players, trying to get their rhythm, find the serve that works, get moving as a team together. The first service of the game is only a single service, and Kim Russell was unsuccessful in converting, so it's side out. And now Laura Fenton will serve, and Kim Russell exits the court momentarily to change a racket. She slammed one off the wall there for just a second, so these early butterflies have taken their toll on the equipment already. <laughs> they have. Serves. Zero serving zero. Laura Fenton serving. Jackie Paraiso waiting at the wall. Laura started with a slow serve. Trying to slow Kim down a little bit because Kim's a shooter. Hold up. Oops. Call a hinder on that one. Referee Rich Clay presiding over that, the Ryan. competition. And zero, as seven, you said, zero. calls a hinder. We will replay with Laura Fenton serving once again. Down now, Brian, I saw Laura five. practicing this serve. Her strategy, I think, Jackie is going to be to slow zero, Kim down, zero, hit some zero. junk lob serves to her, make her hit a defensive shot. Half out, and now Jackie Paraiso will serve. Jackie's doing the same thing, slowing things down to Kirsten. Skip, it's a point. A point on a skip ball there. We have one serving zero. So one will serve zero now. Jackie Paraiso converts the first point. Uh, how important is that, Chris? Uh, the first point isn't all that important. It's just oh, nice as a team point. to say, OK, we're on the board. They've got it again. We have two serving zero. Two quick points for Paraiso and Fenton. This is the way things went for them in their match in the semis. One of Kirsten's strengths that Jackie is going to notice here is her ability to return serve, serve to cut them off, to get aggressive two. right away. Jackie's going to have to mix them up, have to keep her off guard so that she's not going to be able to do that. Side out, Kim Russell and Kirsten Hallander having a word with one another. First Kim approached Kirsten, and Kirsten had something else to say. Russell play again, half two out. serving zero. Half out. Half out. So now Kirsten, Kirsten Hallander will get a shot. Zero serving two. Zero serving two now after the side out. Looking up high for a spot on the wall on the serve. Kirsten Hallander. Uh, oh. Jackie trying to split Side the out. middle, which is a very smart double shot. If you notice, she hit the ball right down the center, which kind of caught Kim off guard. She got zero. the point by it. Side out, two serving zero. Laura two Fenton zero. apparently is the first server for their team by choice. Oh. Two bounces. It's point. Both teams told me before the match that part of their strategy was going to be to use the glass. Trying it as Kim comes across on this. Both trying to hit the ball into the glass when possible. And they spoke about that yesterday. It's an interesting that you make that point because they said that the opaque wall is e it's easy to focus on the ball, but with all the faces through the glass, it's difficult to keep track of where the ball is. Four serving zero, two more quick points for Paraiso and Fenton. Go down, That's it's an interesting out. point, Brian. This is probably one Jackie of the harder Paraiso courts in the country to play off of zero. because of the background off of the glass. It's a little tricky for the players. Some of the courts are designed with glass that is almost like that one-way glass. It has a sort of an opaque 
finish to it. You can see from the out looking in, but not the other way around. Five serving zero. And again, Paraiso and Fenton off to a pretty quick commanding start. Skip ball, again. Skip ball by Kirsten Hallander. Kirsten, her strategy and, and the way she plays is aggressive. She's going to go for cutting off that serve. But as it goes into the side wall, the, the glass, it's hard to judge it. She's changing it up a little bit. Oh. Jackie Prizo got to that ball somehow. Oh, oh, and then. Hit her on the main contact. And a hinder being called on that out. by referee Rich Clay. Side out. Four people chasing that little ball around in the box. It gets a, it's a traffic jam. It's a little crowded in there with doubles. Zero serving six. Zero serving six, Kim Russell. Jackie's asking for a court hinder on that. I didn't think it was a light hinder. No, she thought that as she hit that ball, it hit one of the lights, which made the ball it not the make it to I the front no wall. She will hinder. appeal it, I believe. Referee Rich Clay saying he is calling no Line court judges, hinder. I called no court hinder on the light. I called no court hinder. Both line judges agree. The line Call judges give the players a chance to state their case with the ref and get another opinion. In, in this case, both one, line judges agreed with the six. ref, so the call stands. If one judge agrees with the ref, oh, the call stands. Partner, exactly. Both, if both disagree, they overrule no, him. That's how it box, goes. Hit her, fell out as she came out. Kim's trying to utilize that glass on the you serve. She's doing what we call a jam serve. serve, something that hits the sidewall, comes through the middle of the two players, trying to mix them up a little bit. Russell and Hallam do have a point now. So it was one serving six the balls in play at that score. Backhand by Kim Russell. Interesting shot. Down. Half out. Jackie goes for the reverse pinch. And the winner, which is she's so good at. There's not too many times that she'll get a setup that she won't be able to put that ball away. Half out. Now Kirsten Hallander will serve her half of this point. Both players get an opportunity to serve. Nope. Didn't make it. Point. Again, you can see point. how the glass comes into play. Kirsten and Jackie trying to hit the ball down the line against the glass. Two, serving six. Trying to get that mistake. Jackie Parizo got as, as much glass with a racket as oh, she did ball on that replay. point. And there was a replay there as the ball hit off replay the leg of Kirsten two Hallander. Serving six again. Two serving six. Jackie's holding her racket up just to kind of buy some time. They get 10 seconds before they serve. Nope, didn't make it. And that was Side out. what Jackie Parizo was doing all day in the semifinal, hitting shots down low like that that were almost unreturnable. Kirsten Hallander got a racket on it, but couldn't make anything happen with it. And if you serving, notice, Jackie did something six, different. She came around two. that shot, took it with her forehand so she could get a little more power off of it, a little more aggressive. So a side out. Six serving two. Laura Fenton put the ball in play. We've got a good rally going here. Oh! oh point. There's Kim point. hit the crack. It hit the crack in the front wall, which kind of slowed it down, threw Kirsten off a little bit. The score is. Well, there was a target on that crack in the wall for Jackie Parizo yesterday. She was hitting everything a quarter inch off the floor yeah. <laughs> on the end wall or in one of the seams down there, and it just was not returnable. Point. There's another point. This time it was Laura Fenton. We put one in just the right spot. We have eight. Kind of thinking two. that Kirsten and Kim need to change their strategy a little bit, get a rally going. Well, they're too good not to be able to make adjustments, and they showed that in the second. Hold up! Hold up! Hit her ball! Hit her ball! Replay Jackie that. pinched that ball right back at her body. Kirsten was right there. They called it. Replay that rally. Play it over eight again. Serving two again. Eight serving two. Laura Fenton and Jackie Parizo having a word. Now Brian, Laura's had some trouble all year with her back, so it's kind of incredible that she's even playing. They didn't think she would be able to play earlier this year. Laura Fenton from Lincoln, Nebraska. No balls 37 down. years of age. Point. Ball down and a point. 9-2 now for Fenton and Parizo. We have nine serving two. Oh, 
own balls now. Kirsten and Kim keeping the ball up a little too high. They're going for some offensive Time shots, but they notice the ball is coming off the back the wall, giving seconds, Jackie please. Jackie and Laura, another chance to kill the ball, and they're taking advantage of it each time. First time out here called by Allender and Kim Russell, as you might expect. They're trailing 10 to 2 right now. And clearly, Jackie Parizo and her partner, Laura Fenton, have taken control at this point anyway. They have taken control, and I know that Kirsten and Kim are thinking that and feeling that. There's definitely been where Jackie and Laura are being offensive. They're keeping the ball down. Kim and Kirsten are keeping the ball up, kind of rushing the ball a little bit. I think they're a little bit anxious. They're going to need to get rid of the jitters if they're going to have a chance in this match. Kim Russell will serve. Kirsten Hallander Kim Russell away. serving two, serving Fenton 11. And Prizo now in the backcourt. Let's see if Kim changes her serve up. She's been hitting that Z or the jam, so it hits the front wall, side wall, at a different two angle toward 11. Laura. So first she's she, going to change it up a bit. First she had to tie her shoe. <laughs> it's the Z serve. Had to wait a while for that one, but she converted it half out. As you said, Laura's really taking control here. She's getting the setup. She's putting them away. That puts a lot of pressure on the other team. When somebody Kirsten starts putting the, way, the ball away Two, that frequently, it puts a lot of pressure to make your shots perfect. Kirsten Hallander serving now, 36 years old, from Montclair, New Jersey. Saw her at the singles tournament where she lost to the eventual champion Cheryl Godinas in the semifinals. She got her revenge by beating Cheryl and her teammate in the semifinals here to go to the doubles gold medal game. She did. Sorry. These women play each other a lot in different out that, we have 11, Three out of these women, two. everybody except for Kim, play on the pro tour. They play each other a lot. Kirsten trying to go offensive. Leaving the ball up. Rally going here. Oh. But finally, it ends. Half out. A half out. We have 11 serving two. Kind of so stuck on this score for a little bit here. Now Jackie Parizo serving her half of the point. Oh. Oh. Oh, good save. Skip ball. Not, yep, side skip out. ball for Jackie Parizo. Side out. So they were not. Kim Russell able to nudge the two, score any higher. 11. Two 11 now. Two serving 11 again. Kim Russell starts. She moves way over to the right side of the court. Nice soft serve. So she did try to change it up. Came to her advantage. Point. And she played that one all by herself. Served it Scores and got the rebound three, right on the floor. Serving 11. Three serving 11 now. Kim Russell's found something that maybe she'll stick with for a while. Soft serve again. Right against the wall. Another weak return. Skip ball. Half out. Kirsten had the opportunity. That's Kirsten where those Allen nerves come into play. That was a setup that she uh, jumped on a little too hard Scores there. Skip three, ball. So half 11. out. Kirsten Look. Hallander will now serve. So Z served to Jackie. Jackie splits the middle with it. Out of court. Ball was so out, ball of court. Goes out of the loss court. Of the rally. It is a point for the other team. That's not a home run. <laughs> she wishes it was a home. Uh, referee Rich Clay puts another one in play. A point. And we have four resume serving on a 11. Four serving 11. Three walls. That's an out. In the open division, different than, than people maybe watching this broadcast, the players only get one serve, Ryan. So in that case, where Kirsten hit the front wall, the side wall, and the side wall on a fly, she lost her serve on that. Three walls to call and another timeout yeah, on the court first, yeah. as the players take a break. Some refreshment. Kirsten Callender right there. Now lives in San Diego, California. This is just a time for them to break the momentum. Laura and Jackie have had the momentum. They got a couple of serves in there. They got a couple points. They want to keep it in their favor. So I think it was a good call. It was a bad serve by Kirsten. She gets off the court. They think about it. They talk it over. Hopefully they can go back in and get them out of the box. Jackie Parizo with a little lick bomb there to help, help her. Laura Fenton takes the court now. Brian, an interesting thing. Jackie has won about three national titles with her twin sister, Joy, who has stopped playing. 
but she has won three national titles, a world title, two Pan American titles. She probably is one of the best women's doubles players in the world. A little list of her accomplishments is mostly number ones for first place. She was ranked number one in the uh, WIRT 1999-2000 final season, season ranking. And she has won just about every tournament uh, in the country and certainly most of them in the world. Born in uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Has a daughter, Danielle, of six. Both Back. Kim and Laura have gone to that. Good. That I lob serve. Good. They're, they're going to appeal this shot on Jackie. Line Jackie judges. hit the ball in the I corner. This final shot good. There's been an appeal. One, one line agrees, judge one agrees. Disagree. One disagrees. Call, no use. Call will a stand. Point. So 13, 13 now serving four. Serving the game four. is to 15, and we're in game one. 13 serving four. Laura Fenton and Jackie Paraiso with a commanding lead here in game one. The way this tournament has gone, a commanding lead in game one doesn't necessarily turn into a, a gold medal or a medal or even a victory. We found that out with the men's term, the, the men's matches. Yeah, a shutout, a 15 nothing shutout in the men's semifinal, and it ended up being a win for Adam Karp and Andy uh, Roberts' teammate. Kirsten kind of got a little lucky there, I think. She poked a racket out, and the ball went in the right place. Jackie Prize will Jackie now serve. Jackie's 34 years old, and we've already said that she has accomplished just about everything a person could want to accomplish in their chosen sport. World Championships. Jackie hit that right underneath Kirsten's leg. Kirsten knew she was in the way, so she had to jump in order not for not to get an avoidable hinder. And Jackie rolled it out. For Jackie Paraiso, her list of accomplishments goes all the way back to 1989, maybe even earlier. But uh, her first victory is listed as an Echelon AA U.S. National Singles Championship at the age of oh, the 19 plus division. <laughs> She's been playing a long time. She's a seasoned veteran. Timeout on the court again, and it is uh, not a timeout because that was a victory. That was a winning point, 15-4. While we were talking about Jackie Parizo, she and her teammate Laura Fenton picked up a win in game number one. Any com any any overview, if you will, Chris, about the first game? You know, Jackie and Laura did everything right. They served great. They put the ball away. They put the pressure on right from the beginning, and you can tell that Kirsten and Kim felt it. They were making a lot of mistakes. Well, they have some words with one another here but you can see that uh, there's very little concern really just some confidence I guess for Jackie Parizo there on the right Laura Fenton hi Laura exactly all they're telling each other now is just to keep it going don't change anything stay relaxed they're feeling pretty confident right now game one ends 15 to 4 <laughs> ticket to sports.com presents racquetball it's the 33rd Ectalon U.S. National Doubles Championship from the Merritt Athletic Club in Baltimore, Maryland. The finals of the Women's Open. Laura Fenton already on the court. Jackie Parizo now takes up her position. And let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yep, all the players are there, Chris. That means game two is about to begin. And as you said earlier, Brian, game one doesn't mean anything in these matches. It's a new game. It's very easy for a team to turn things around. They talk about strategy. They do something different. They change things up. Good luck again, ladies. Let's see what Kirsten and Kim can come Laura up with Fenton here. Well, presumably zero, they talked zero, about what adjustments zero. they need to make. Laura Fenton will serve 0-0. Game two after winning game one, 15 to four. Laura's gonna stick with what was very successful for her, that lob serve. Deep slice off the back glass for Kirsten Hallander to keep the ball in play. Oh, and a miss, a swing and a miss by Kim Russell. Jackie is so good up in front. She has quick hands. She has good reactions. Not a lot gets by her in the front. One yeah. serving zero. One serving zero. When you find something that works, Brian, you stick with it. And that's what Laura has found right here. She's got a lot of mistakes from Kim. And I think she's going to stay with it until Kim proves that she can do something with this serve. Scores two, serving zero. Two serving zero. Two straight points for Laura Fenton, who's pretty much played them. Well, she played that last one on her own. That's for sure. Yes, she did. There's a Jackie Prizo return into Laura Fenton's forehand. 
Off the glass again for Kirsten Callender. Great shot off that glass. Good save also by Paraiso, who puts one in the corner. Short chop by Kim Russell, but it's still in play. Paraiso driving Callender back and. Good pass. That's a good pass. Rich is calling that. The referee is calling reach. that a pass. A good pass. It was deep. Kim wants a hinder on it, thinking that she could have had a play. But I think the call was right. I think the ball was by her. The referee says it was deep, meaning that the chances are it would have gone by anyway. Zero. Three serving zero now. So we've seen a long rally, a very short one, and another long one for the three points that have been scored. And also puts one into the corner, and here comes the flurry. Everybody being aggressive. Oh! Jackie putting the ball away in the corner. That we saw a lot of that in the semifinals. Jackie Paraiso putting the ball away in the corner was repeated again and again and again. It works. Repeat it. Four serving zero. It's a Z ball. But it's a difficult return. Jackie just trying to mess them up. Do something different. Skip ball. He's forcing mistakes. Skip ball by Kim Russell. And another point for Fenton and Paraiso. 5-0, game two. Serving zero. Both teams, Brian, had said to me that they want to play aggressive, but what's happening is Joy, Jackie and uh, Laura are being controlled aggressive. They're putting the ball away where Kirsten and Kim are a little bit wild. Skip ball, side out. Skip ball and a rare error for Jackie Paraiso. Kim Russell, serve. She's replaying zero, that swing. Five. Jackie Paraiso serving. Five serving one. Half out, 5-1 now. Jackie use, utilizing the glass, putting it in the middle. Makes for a difficult return. Great get by Kirsten. Another one by Jackie Paraiso. Oh. And Kim puts it away. Oh, the put away down in the corner. A lot of good gets in that rally. Kim ends it. Kim Russell serve in second game, scores one. Kirsten's a little off five. this game. She puts the ball away usually much more consistently than she does. Let's get ball. She had a forehand set Half up out. right there and just rushed it a little bit, put it in the floor. Kirsten Half out, Kirsten one, Hollander will serve five. one, five. Oh, let's replay it. Well, kind of a strange serve. It comes across the middle. Jackie tried to take it across the court and went right into Kirsten's back. Good you notice that serve, Brian? It just barely carried over the line. That's what the players are trying to do on that five. to get it to come just over that short line. That was a point for Kirsten Hallander. Two serving five. Hold up, Another hold one. up. Front line football completely over. Football. Stepped completely over the front called line. Called by the referee. Ball serve and then out. So they lose their service. Side out. Laura Laura Fenton, Fenton, Jack serve. Rizzo, serving five, at five two. Serving two. That's a tough call. You hate to lose your serve on something like that. Great play. Kim saw that. Laura was Jackie pulled off Rice to the side, serve. so she went for that easy down the line pass. Five, serving two. It's good fundamentals. Half out, Jackie Parizo serving still 5 2. No, nice cut. There she Kirsten goes. Kirsten That's Kirsten's shot. She hasn't been able to hit that too consistently. Off the glass, Russell, off the back wall. Two, serving Probably five. four inches off the floor. <laughs> At the most. Jackie was even right there, if you notice. Jackie was right up there in the front court and still couldn't get it. Stretched out as far as she could. Oh. Good cover by Jackie. And oh, Kirsten yeah. put it away. There's Kirsten's shot again. This time it was just off the back wall, but again, about an inch off the floor. Four, four serving, serving five. five. After the side out, Kim Russell, Kirsten Hallam have service. 
opportunity to even it up here. This time oh, Jackie's jumping. Uh, going by. We'll replay that. Check the ball. Put the ball hitting her in the feet. Replay. Right. We'll replay that. We have four serving five. Again, an opportunity to even the score here for Kim Russell and Kirsten Hallander. Four to five right now. Back here. Kristen put her hand up. She was kind of screened for by that shot. So that. Rich gave her that that hand to replay. Laura Fenton was sort of in the neighborhood, in the in the way. Another replay. So for the third time, Kim Russell's trying to serve. Right here. That's an even score. Five all now. Brian, I think Kirsten is so finally starting to feel her groove a little five. bit. Just putting way more shots, getting a little more confident. Sure, she would prefer for that to have happened a little earlier, but it mm -hmm. didn't. We're game two, tied at five. Point. Uh, yes, make that a six-five, and the first lead for Kim Russell and Kirsten Hallander, first lead of the match. Five. Kim's getting the serve in nicely, bringing it around, forcing Laura from the back court. Good. Half out. Nice shot by Laura Fenton to put that one down in the corner. Covering Half out. the backhand Kirsten side for Jackie seven, and putting six, it away. Five. That's what makes a good doubles team. Two people that can hit from either side of the court and cover for each other. This is a different serve. A lot of players don't use this serve. Kirsten's really good at it. Using her backhand to come across. It's very effective. The players, I'm sure, are not very happy with how many shots they're all hitting high that are coming off the back wall. Laura Fenton, sir, in second Side out. Scores five, five serving, six. serving six. So in the unfamiliar position of serving and not leading, Laura Fenton takes the ball. She's getting what she wants from Kim on that return of serve, but she's not capitalizing on it all the time. Good save by Kim into the back wall. Skip ball, point. Skip ball and a point. It's Laura Fenton's shot was good, Kim's was not. Six all. Laura hit that right at her, but it was a little six. too fast for Kim to react six. to. A lot of times players try to hit the ball away from their opponent, and many times it's effective to hit it right at them. You see that in a lot of racket That's sports, good. especially if you hit it right at maybe the center chest. Or you don't know whether to go forehand, backhand. There's a moment, just a moment of confusion, and that sometimes leads to a uh, desirable seven. result. Serving seven six. six now, Laura Fenton again serving, and she had a winner. They're taking the lead again. Seven six for Fenton and Parizo. Skip ball, Skip ball for Kim Russell. Kim forcing that return. She's trying to go cross court, make Jackie kind of poke the ball back six. up to the ceiling to give him another chance at a shot. You mentioned back injury. She had sustained that at the Promise U.S. Open. And, uh, but it does not seem to be affecting her here at all today. Laura Fenton will talk about that. It doesn't seem to be affecting her. She was getting a little massage before the match. Um, she said she felt pretty good. She's been doing a lot of stretching for the last few months, a lot of exercises for it. She's, she's very happy with how it's turning out. So it's a good thing to see Laura Fenton back on the court again. Timeout on the court right now, and you can see the score 9-6 to six as Hallander and Russell have called the timeout. There's Kirsten Hallander having a seat. Kim Russell over there, too. Jackie Parizo and Laura Fenton have also left the court. See the crowd that's on hand, and there are Jackie and Laura, respectively. Jackie and Blue Laura. And some discussion before the start of the match, and it's funny how it goes. Uh, the officials want to make sure that the that the players are distinct from one another and how they look, and so that so Jackie and Laura had to consult with Kim and Kirsten about what they were going to wear. And you know, it, it's I said, geez, the USRA has has fashion consultants now, and they said, well, it's important you have to be able to tell each other apart. It is. It gets very confusing out there, not only for the referee, but for the players themselves. But the ref does want some distinction so they can, on the spur of the moment, decipher who hit what and who's in whose way and how to call the match. Well, we can't exactly go shirts and skins no, here, can we? No, we can't. 10-6 <laughs> now. Game two, played to 15, of course. 
Should a tie break be necessary, that'll be played to a lot. Great shot by Jackie. She had to get out of the box quickly, turn around, take her forehand, and put it in the corner. 11 6 now. Your partner is not allowed to get out of that box until after your ball passes the short line. Great defensive shot again by Jackie. It's going to be a tough one. Laura Fenton checking where she was on the court by touching the back glass with a racket. Ball still in play. Long rack. Out of oh, this time Jackie hits it out. <laughs> Jackie Parizo with a home run. So that's three home runs in the game so far. No, just kidding. Meaning the ball went over the glass in the backcourt. We're going to replay it at 11 6. Jackie is such a smart player. When she gets those balls up front, instead of making an unforced error, she puts the ball back up. Oh. Half out, actually. Since it was Carrizo who hit the ball out of the court, it was a half out. Now there's a point and makes it 12 6. We're getting some discussion here from Kirsten Helen. Kirsten feels ball. like she held up on her shot. They were too close. She's going to appeal this one. A limited number of appeals available to each player. And both. Okay, so th in this case, both line judges disagreed with referee Rich Clay, and Kirsten got her call. They're replaying it now. Ball. That's why the line Side judges are good. It's hard for the ref to see everything. It's hard to make those calls, so he gets some help down there with some people that are Russell, seeing serving. things at a little Score different six, angle. Serving 11. Side out. The net result. Oh, down, down. I called, I called two. I get called another two bounces. Call another argument. Line judges here. Rich is calling that the shot I called bounced Solomon twice no before it Kirsten got it. I called two bounces. Well, line judge one Felicia Mann agrees. agrees. I have to agree with that also. I felt like the ball That's bounced twice hour. before she no got it. Was used, and no appeal. We have six and I think serving 11. The line judge on the left side had the best view of that. She doesn't have a good shot. Down. And Kirsten Hallander may be showing some of the frustration of being on the losing side of the score right now. Kicks the ball away. Serving seven, serving 11. Seven, serving 11. They're not out of this one by any means yet. They're not going down without a fight. Forehand serve now for Hallander. Side out. Laura just calm and cool, putting the ball away when it comes to her side. Kirsten even caught Jackie off guard. Jackie was looking for a Z serve on that. Kirsten pulled in a nice drive, and Jackie was able to save it with a good ceiling ball. Side out, Laura Fenton now, 11, serving seven. Down, half out. Half out. Kirsten wasn't giving an inch there. She was pushing Jackie, Jackie all the way against the glass so she would get her shot. Seven. She wanted that shot. Can we say a rare serving opportunity for Jackie Parizo? Laura is brilliant serving up winners. We've been able to put them away with Laura Fenton serving. Jackie has not had to do the honors very often. So there's a point, however. Jackie, Jackie gets a winner, and it's now 12-7. Laura's not hitting the ball too often, but when she does, she's putting it away. Jam serve, forcing it down the middle. Forcing a weak return. Kim right there. Laura covering for Jackie. They've switched sides right now. Shot is Kristen good. Kristen side out. Kristen Hallander will get the side out. Kim Russell serving. And Kim Russell will serve at 7 12. Excuse me, I did call score incorrectly. 7 serving 12. Players quickly reminding the referee the score is 7 12, not 7 11 as he stated. They don't want to be shortchanged on this. No, every point counts. And eventually one of them will count for a gold medal. Down, shot was good. From shot 38 good. feet, Jackie rolls that ball out. Jackie Parizo showing why she seven, has seven, been 12. and is the top ranked player and one of the best in the world. 7 12. Half out on that. Kirsten Howell. Short serve. That's an out. Serves it short. 
Side out. It's really her first short serve. She's pretty good at serving the ball hard and low without hitting it short because you do Expected lose serve. it. You lose 12, your serve on that. Seven. It's risky, but it's also very effective if you get it in. 12-7, Laura Fenton again serving. Softly down the right side. And Russell with the return. People getting a little jammed up in the middle. We got a full-fledged ruckus going on here now, yeah. Oh, two shots right skip off ball. the wall. And a skip half ball out. called on the skip second ball. one, half out. Just I know barely you guys are missed a little it. Tight here. I'm trying Kim to got it. Play, Laura didn't. But there's enough time to recover. And Jackie Corizo will now serve. 12-7. Seven. Seven. Again, that serve has been very effective, making Kim hit the ball with her backhand. That was good. Laura Boy. takes that ball right out of the air, doesn't let it come to the back court, puts it away. Jackie the side wall, the back wall, and the floor was long before anybody could get to seven. it. They didn't even try. Jackie Parizo, 13, serving seven. Two points for the match. There's one of them. Match point. I think they're smelling the gold right now, Brian. Well, in the frustration, Kirsten Hallander whacking the glass wall with her 14, racket. Serving this could seven. be the match point. And how appropriate that Jackie Parizo is going to serve. She has been the player of this tournament, apparently, in some people's minds. Side out. So Kirsten Hallander and Kim Russell have an opportunity. Kim Russell serving. Seven, seven to 14. 14. 14. Game two of the U.S. National Doubles Championship. I don't think the crowd wants this to end, Brian. I think they're looking for a little comeback. Well, the crowd has grown because clearly what's at stake uh, is becoming more imminent oh, here. So free off play the Kirsten Hallander's back. Hitter. She has a look at Jackie. Hitter. What'd you do that for? She's Jackie off, wants an avoidable on that. She feels like Kirsten backed right angle, into her shot. We'll she might have that. a good argument Seven there. Serving 14. Referee calls a replay. Kim Russell with that soft serve on the right side. Team's trying to go cross court. Going to return a lot of these way into the backcourt again. She's kind of oh. stuck on the side wall. Good. Half out. Great shot. Nice shot. Gets a half out on that cut into the corner. She could have gotten Scores. her back any closer Seven, to that side wall. And to be able to swing 14. and put that away, it's a very difficult shot. Laura Fenton, Jackie Brizo having a word. Kirsten Hallander will now go to her backhand serve. We've seen this before. Kind of slices that a little bit. It was effective. Hold up. Going by. Play it. She sliced that serve a little bit. Causes Jackie seven, to kind of 14. be a little tentative on her swing. Gave Kirsten a setup. Replay now. Another chance. This time she does it differently. Skip ball. Side Skip out. ball for Kirsten Hallander. And they lose service. We are once again at match point. This time, Laura Fenton, serving. Laura Fenton will have the opportunity 14, to seven. deliver a winner. 14 serving seven for the match. Laura Fenton, Jackie Pariza. Back to her. Serve and she there. gets it. And man. She gets the winner on Kim Russell getting and half Jackie wall, half Pariza. ball. Jackie Parizo and Laura Fenton are the winners of the Ectalon U.S. Doubles National Championship for women in the U.S. Open Division. What a match. Brian, if I have to call it, the player of the game to me is Laura Fenton. She stayed cool, she stayed calm, nothing real flashy, but she got the job done in more ways than one. I think she did a terrific job. That serve looks a lot harder than it is, and to get an ace off a lob serve is it's pretty tough. Well, that's teamwork for you then. If Jackie Parizo was the player yesterday, today, I'll have to agree with you. It was Laura Fenton that was the star of the show, winning this U.S. doubles title. Well, we'll see. Racquetball has been a presentation of Ticket2Sports.com.